Good morning, Lorewood Grove Lions. Today is Thursday, April 29th. Please stand for our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. So today, the weather is supposed to be warm, pretty warm, like 80 degrees. That's pretty warm, but there might be some rain in the day. So we can expect to see a little bit of wet weather. Ooh, on and off? On and off, yes. Okay. So uh, hopefully it holds out and we can have PE outside today. That's what I hope. Oh, that sounds like a dream, PE outside. Woo. Oh, it's amazing. It's like my favorite part of my whole day is getting mm -hmm. to be outside with all of our friends. That's awesome. I love sitting outside in the sun and reading. I love oh. laying on a blanket and reading. And um, Laura with Scholars, how are you guys doing on your reading? Remember that if you're not right at the same part where we are, you can still catch up. You can still enjoy this book, even if you you didn't read chapter 15 last night. But last night was chapter 15, and we finally got to go to the Bailey family headquarters. And Rafter and Bailey's grandpa lives there. Can you believe that um, Rafter and Bailey got there because their dad flew them there? Because remember, their dad's superpower is he can fly. Mm. I've always wondered what it would be like to have flying as a superpower. Have you ever had anyone ask you what your favorite superpower would be? You know, I have had people ask me that, but I find that it keeps changing depending okay. on what I'm thinking about or imagining at the time. I yeah. did used to have dreams where I could fly a lot when me I was too. younger. It was definitely when I was young, the superpower I always wanted. Yeah, I go back and forth between flying and invisibility. Ooh, invisibility. Yeah, those are my two. If you had the power of invisibility, you would have a really fun April Fool's Day. Oh my goodness. Having people on the shoulder and then they turn and you're not yes. there. And my students know that I love doing jokes on them. so. They would be, they would be in for it on April Fool's Day. Be lots of belly laughter. Uh huh, for it's sure. Visible. Hmm. So that is very cool, though that that he has flying as his superpower. Yeah, and he flew his boys to the headquarters, and they got to go in and um, see their grandpa. And but then they went to the motor pool, which is like an underground under a mountain, and they thought that they were going to get to ride in the cars and touch the cars and work on stuff, but they, that didn't happen. Instead, they had to do book work and study glove compartments. Oh, what even is a glove compartment? <laughs> well, I believe the glove compartment is that little storage space in your car in the front by the passenger seat where you just store a bunch of stuff that you don't use a lot. Maybe they used to store gloves there. Yeah, yeah. I guess that makes sense. I don't think I store gloves in my glove compartment though. No, I, I don't like, either. I put like plastic forks and napkins in my I, think, <laughs> I have a scraper for my car window in there. Oh, I have the manual for my car. So the instructions. Oh yeah, I do have that too. So... Mm -hmm. It's not a glove compartment in my car. It's a stuff compartment. It doesn't seem like a very interesting thing to study. The history of glove no. compartments. That's what they had to study at the end of the chapter. These poor kids, they just is like disappointment after disappointment. <sighs> but I guess they're learning how to navigate disappointment. I guess we all do. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, we're going to read chapter 16 tonight, so don't forget to check the school flip grid for the trivia questions, 
And if you have a question you'd like to ask Marion Jensen, the author, you can put that on the Flipgrid too. We're collecting questions for him. So we'll see if we can get him to answer your question. Ooh, but I, I might ask him why they had to study glove compartments. <gasps> Great question. You should definitely ask him. But that's all the One School, One Book updates I have for you today, Little Red Girl Scholars. Happy reading. Keep, keep at it. Well, all right, Lions. It is time for our school pledge. Lions inspire others to roar because we are ready to learn, have opportunities learn, to grow, accept everyone, and respect ourselves and others. Because here at Lorewood, we are roaring, roaring with pride and, and potential. Awesome. I will see you guys next time. Have a great Thursday. Bye, scholars. See ya.